Hey everyone, I have my children's storybook journal ready. I would like to show it to you. Uh, this will be in my Etsy store and the link will be down below so you can go over and check out the details. Uh, it was just a pamphlet style book and uh, I widened the spine. Yeah, it was called The Noisy Book. Uh, I think it's from like 1939. So the I liked the artwork simplicity of the artwork in the journal it has uh, just this is just clipped on and then this side is just a paper clip so the closure can like come completely off I just keep the paper clip on and it seems to be staying on pretty well there was a spot up here where maybe someone had stuck a piece of masking tape with maybe a price tag or something and so I just um, covered this with this journal uh, word and it's 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 open so you can you can you hang a charm on there or you can hang a ribbon or whatever you can dream up you'd like to put on your journal so let's go inside take a look i tried to keep in the theme of the colors from the book uh, it was a little bit of a challenge but uh, it was very fun very fun to create has an old bingo card in the pocket here. It has a fabric lining, and this is a paper pocket. It has sewing uh, around the edges and down, you know, on the spine area. Uh, it's just a pocket. I think this flips up for writing and um, has a ticket and a... It's like a little library card, but it, it is paper. Fabric on the edge has a couple of places to pages to journal on here it says this book belongs to Randy K it's got pencil down there it's cute <laughs> and then this uh, pocket has a these are just a couple of pages for writing with some stamping some old notebook paper it's an old book page. It goes in this copy filter pocket. And this is another uh, pocket page. Uh, this little flap holds the page down and has this page tucked in there. And another old book page in this fabric pocket. So you can write and hinge it shut and you can stick this back in here almost like a pocket too so page holds quite a bit of things it's kind of nice it has fabric on the edge uh, this, you know had like holes for putting them in the three ring binder so I just added a little fabric in that hole there's a graph paper pocket and this is the where the story the story the noisy book story is in order uh, inside the book with the journal pages and extra pages in between. So if you read the story, it does go in order. Uh, it has just mostly a lot of images in the story. But it is from... Oh, it's 19... Oh, it's copyright's 1939. First printing, November 1972. I'm not sure what that means. But anyway, it's vintage. <laughs> has a little pocket up here with... Uh, little envelope and a little ticket with a dog fabric pocket this is a community chess card tucked in there this is an old uh, bow tie vintage quilt square uh, just lifts up and you're right underneath it a lot of vintage fabric on, in this book on the edges it's an old wallpaper piece with some fabric on that paper pocket the pages you know folded up and they're they're quite uh, delicate the pages so uh, I put a little fabric on there if you're gonna put things in and out of the pocket that's just a little more durable and has a another little page to write things this pocket yeah that's paper noisy noisy book and then here starts the story uh, the storybook pages I didn't I didn't put any, I never put anything on the storybook pages. They are hinged together because 
I wanted the story to go in order and pamphlet books are like a one signature so I had to cut them all in half and kind of rehinged them together where I wanted them to be inside the book. This is an old vocabulary card. This is a little journal page underneath the fabric is a little pocket with this little vocabulary word, word meaning card. It tucks in there. Some fabric on the edge of that. This is a a little dog card and put some paper on the back so you can write on the back. And this is another has some pockets in. Six in that pocket. This paper just hangs on on this little fabric band. Monopoly money in the fabric pocket. This paper ruffle for some more of the story. It's a ledger page inside here. Uh, some of the pages weren't long enough, so, you know, the book's quite wide, so that I did add some paper on to bring it to a full width of the book. Uh, this is trying to... It was hard to find ephemera to put in here that kind of went with the story. It's, you know, it's... The art is quite simple. There isn't a lot of artwork like that, so I tried to, with the fabric, make some little accents in the book that you know, kind of went together. So a birdhouse on there. Old notebook page. Storybook page. This flips out. Some uh, journal page inside there. This is a little trim. So map card. It's one of my quilted houses tucked in that pocket. Another card in here. This is a bag, damask bag. Has one of the ledger pages folded inside, and then one of the little cards with paper and sewn around the edges, so you can write on the back of that. Bird card. This is a dog. Just has some journal pages inside. Kind of picking up on the dog on this page. This little pocket back here, and the bag in there. Some eyelash trim. Ticket. This is another little booklet of pages. Red brick rack. It's a little lion booklet pages in here. You know, the thing is, uh, Everybody's always kind of discussing copyright, copyright, copyright. What can I do? What can't I do? Um, like, I can take this book and do however I wanted to create something with the book. But now, like, I could not take this page and scan it, copy it to make things to go in here that I would be selling. That That's in my view, against the copyright rules. So that's where I had the challenge of trying to find ephemera that kind of match this. If it's, you know, 80 or 100 years old, then you can do that, but this is not. So, um, you know, the fabrics I use or the trims I use or the images I use, I, I try to just kind of keep in, in with the same look or colors of the book. A little booklet of pages. Some red check. You know, and your journals don't have to match either, but that just this seems to be when I'm creating things, what I gravitate to doing is having everything have purpose or colors that go together, eras that match. I, I kind of like, I don't like my papers to be stark white. If I'm doing a stark white journal, of course, um, then I would do that. I kind of like to have, you know, everything. If, I, if I'm going to have an aged journal and I open up some stark white, it just kind of doesn't seem to go in my view. But it, it, if it's a junk journal, it, sure, it certainly does. This is an altered paper clip at... Uh, job is to hold this journal page in here. Good job. It's a little pocket.
There's another journal page on the back. In this pocket here. Some other. Some stamping. It's a tree booklet. Red and white. This was a bag. I think of like a popcorn bag. This is a little booklet of a little puppy on those pages. Um, this page then uh, I added this old book, old magazine page on here and I painted over some of the words here and this fits into this pocket. It is also the same, <laughs> same piece, See, this is the page which didn't go out to the end of the book. So then I glued on this magazine page, which created pocket on both sides. So then this is, is the folded journal page that's inside there. So these guys peek out on this side of the page. And here's another little graph paper on this, extending that page out. And I think you can understand the reason why the pages don't go. You know, the book the book itself is quite wide. So if you fold a piece of paper in half, it's only gonna, you know, one it's either gonna go only to here or you know, it doesn't go all the way out. So that's why I added some of these pages on. Then they have flip outs and you can add pockets and different things, places to write. This is a pocket on here, which is just a journal page. Uh, holds this card in, and it has another little pocket with a little vocabulary card on. And I think this page was then folded up. They were 12 by 12, so I don't... I like to now, if I'm going to create a journal, I, I'm trying not to have so much paper left over because then it never really goes into another project or, you know, and it has this all laying around. So I thought, well, I'm going to fold up, make pockets, use it in the book in different areas so that when I'm done with the journal, everything that I use for the journal is also inside the journal. Colors all go together and... This is an envelope that's attached, has a pocket here and a pocket here, and this is also a little place to tuck things. You know, and some of the pages I left shorter, it just tears nice sometimes. You know, it just depends upon what you want, how you want your journal to look. This is a fabric pocket. This is a paper pocket with a clear pocket. So it holds this place to write. And this little ticket. The bird and the branch. And, and this is a, quite a big journal. And it does have a lot of places you can add your own things to. This is a little fire truck, so there's a little fireman on there with a little ticket. He sits in there. This is an old wallpaper pocket. Fabric tab. This is a bag. It's a little place to tuck things in a little pocket on the bottom of the page. Some aged paper. Inside the bag is this little paper is just hanging over the edge. It's this journal page inside and a little ticket with a train tucked on there. This is the back side, the little ticket. It's an old paper bag, ruffle, journal card, flip out.
and a story, and an old dictionary page, and a journal page. And this is a, just a journal card. It's a tea bag pocket with a little, just different types of paper in there, grammar paper. Little girl on there. She goes in there. This paper, old book page. This is just a little flip out for writing, which is a pocket for this journal page. A little place to journal. Page opens up. Train. A little ladybug booklet. Cupcake liner. I just love the way that paper turned out. Ship. This is a bag. Flips up for writing underneath. Has a journal page inside. Some fabric. It's like a little tie in a pocket there. And this is a, another page to write on. Fabric. Recipe card. Airplane, leather pocket, patterned paper, embellished paper clip, flips out, fabric pocket, paper ruffle, little pocket, birdhouse, I believe this flips up, another pocket inside there. A book page has this, the words are covered so you can write on that. And this is another one of the flip out pockets with the journal page underneath and a little journal spot inside with a little girl. And then this is as a journal card with a fish collage on it. And that's the back. So that is my storybook journal. With the little flower clamp closure. And I'll have that listed in my Etsy store, like I said. And I thank you all for watching, and you have a nice day. Bye now.